Hello guys and welcome to this new video. I know it's been a while uh, since the last tutorial but finally I got some time to record a new one and again is inspired by the latest text lab tutorial which of course is for After Effects and since we are talking about Fusion the process is going to be a little bit different. Alright so let's get started. All right, in my uh, preferences uh, for the composition I want to be sure that the frame format is set to HD 24 frames per second and I want the depth locked at least to 16-bit float now let's make this comp a uh, hundred frames long and let's create our text node and I'm using text plus here I'm gonna type something creepy in here like night there and I want to choose the right font for the job this one called Friday 13 it's on uh, the internet and you can download that for free and yeah let's make this one a little bit bigger and maybe we want to add just a touch of animation something very slight something like that all right perfect so this is going to be where we applied the bleeding on uh, so uh, to create drips we need a particle system and for that we can create a p emitter and of course a p render now we want in the p render to select the 2d mode and we want to pre-generate a hundred frames in the p emitter we want to set the style of the particles to bitmap and the region to line now let's view the p emitter and let's set up that line something like so i'm going on an angle on purpose so that i have some variation later in the in the process all right so now i want to create my own sprite uh, for the particles i'm going to create a background node and in the image size i want to change that to 50 by 500 pixels let's view that and I'm going to add an ellipse mask which I'm going to move down here and I'm going to let that as is and also I want to add a rectangle mask and this one is going to be something like this yeah that, that's looking good now I want to add a mat control and I want to make a copy of this background node here and in the type I want to change that to vertical and in the bottom color I want to change uh, that to white so I'm going to unplug this from the background and pipe that into the background input of the mat control and this one is going to be in the foreground now in the mat control I want to combine the red channel and I want the operator to be minimum then I can change the blur to 60 and pipe that one into the background node and yeah pipe that into the p emitter node and let's see what we have here yeah we have a bunch of particles we may need less uh, particles so let's change the number to 2 let's make those a little bit bigger let's move into the style tab and in the size control size is going to be 0.4 and variance 0.3 right uh, since we are here in the style control we can also dial in a touch of fade all right so we need some forces to to have those particles move downwards and for that we're going to add a p-directional force let me move into the alpha so you better see what's going on with the particles I then want to add a p friction node and in the p friction I want to change the region to bitmap and the region mode to inside region now what I'm going to do is to pipe my text into the p friction input here and that would mean that when the particles uh, will be inside the text the friction will be applied let's change the velocity friction to 0.3 
and as you can see we have the result we want but since uh, the pivot of the particles is not at the tip of the particles but in the middle let's just add a transform node and move the text a little bit up so that the friction happens where the text actually is all right so now what we want to do is to restrict the area of the particles just to the text to do that i'm going to view the text and i'm gonna add a directional blur and i want to add also a blur node and a brightness contrast all right so let's move back to directional blur and we want to set the length to 0.4 and the angle to 90. Let's view that. Now in the blur, we want to change that to four. And in the brightness contrast, let's activate the alpha and increase the gain to five. Now we want to pipe that into the mask input of the render node. And as you can see, the particles are happening only where the text is and below. Now we want to add a node which is not in Fusion as default, it's a macro that I created which unfortunately I haven't yet shared on Reactor, I will do that soon but it's not 100% necessary for the end result but I think it adds a little bit. Let's use these roughen edges, let me remove the border and the fractal influence and yeah maybe i want to increase the scale to like 105 maybe just a touch less sharpen here yeah something like that all right so now we want to bring this uh, a little bit further just by branching from here and i'm going to add a anerode dilate and a create bump map and just adding a displace node after the rough and edges and pipe the bump map into the displace so in the erode dilate we want to select the linear and the amount to minus 0 0.1 and we want to we want to crank the height to 100 and in the displace node let's go back to alpha just for you to see better what's happening i want to move to xy change the off offset to minus 0.1 and link the two refractions so now as you can see this is what happens and it's okay since we can move the spread a little bit like let's set this to 1.5 and do something like that maybe just a touch less as you can see we have a little bit of interaction between the uh, drips and the text itself all right so we want to bring those two elements together and now we can branch out from here and i'm going to use the light wrap my light wrap is on reactor you can download that for free if you want now i need a background node and this one is going to be black as well. And I'm going to add another directional blur. And for that, I'm going to choose again 0 0.4 and 90. And then I want to merge the background on top of my directional blur. And I want to change the blend to 0.5. Now, all this goes into another directional blur and I want to change the angle to 90 again and the length to 0 0.01 alright it's time to bring those together and as you can see we start to see what the effect is going to be and now we want to add a brightness contrast alright in the brightness contrast we want to activate the alpha and clip the black and the whites and play with the low and high values to until we get the exact effect that we want for the trips and let's move again into the alpha so you better see what's happening and i think this is looking really good all right so now what we have to do is to add a background node 
and set this one to white and we want to make a copy of this and again branching directly from here and this one instead of white we want to change the value to 0 0.457 all right now the background goes uh, now the drips goes on top of this background and now what we want to do is just um, add a displace node and like add another blur node let's leave it to one and a create bump map and we're going to crank that to 100 and piping that into the displace node x y Again, the offset to minus 0.5 refractions are going to be linked. We are going to set the spread to 1.5 and let's view this. And something like that is going to be okay. All right, let's call this one height map. Add another background node and just set the red value to 0 0.15 so we have our let's call this uh, diffuse color and then we want to add another light wrap just to add touch of kind um, of subsurface scattering using a brightness contrast set to with the gain set to and as you can see that's the result now I'm going to go back to here sorry to here and I'm going to create a blur node and I'm going to branch out from there and this is going to be merged on top of everything this is going to be multiply and that is going to be 10 maybe I just want to blend in so as you can see I'm going to create just a little bit of variation just to have some kind of you know shadowing effect you can create a wireless node and link in the height map and in this case I'm going to use just the alpha from this height map and I'm going to use a brightness contrast just for the sake of speed and you know I'm going to make some space here since I'm going to do things in between here. View that and go into the settings, multiply by mask. I'm again applying the alpha so that everything is going to be correct. All right, so now things are going to be a little bit more tricky, but bear with me. I'm going to branch out from the height map. Now right, I'm going to create a bunch of nodes here they're going to be a blur node and a erode dilate then I'm going to create a create bump map another blur node a brightness contrast and then I'm going to create a channel booleans that one goes in here all right so go back to the first blur node let's view that and I'm going to set that to 1.63 then the erode dilate is going to be set linear and we want to go like like so then we want to crank the height scale to 100 into the create map map node and this one is going to be set to 7 not 1.7 but 7 and in the brightness contrast in the brightness we are going to set that to minus 0.5 and this is going to be our normal map and that's going to happen into the channel booleans now in this channel booleans we want to set the rgba to to nothing and in the aux uh, channels we want to enable the extra channels we are going to select the normals and we're going to set the red for x green for y and blue for z so now if we view the channel booleans we don't see anything but if we go into the channels we now have our normals and those are going to be key for the next step which is going to be a shader node all right so let's pipe that in all right for this specific node i'm going to use a um this image here 
this one is as you can see industrial pipe and valve uh, i think it's from hdri heaven and that means it's free so i want to pipe that into the shader and as you can see if i alt release i can see a uh, environment reflection map and that's where i want to pipe that in let's view the shader things have changed but is not what we need let's move everything to zero and just keep the ambient to one now in the equator angle we want to set that to minus 85 and the polar height to 35 and then we want to increase the reflection slightly like so and we want to just add a touch of specular and a touch of diffuse also yeah something like that now if we view this result through the alpha now it's going to make some sense and let's have a look what we have and as you can see we get these really nice reflections which is exactly what we wanted all right uh, so now we're gonna add another wireless node and we're going to grab this one and yeah again we want to add a bunch of nodes and those are going to be a blur node a erode dilate a create pump map and another blur node and then i'm going to grab these two nodes here which are going to be the exact same and i'm going to pipe those where they have to be so this one as you remember is going to be minus zero profile brightness and this one is just for piping in the normals maybe we don't even need this one so let's get rid of that all right let's keep this uh, let's keep things easy and set this one to two the create pump map to 100 and this other blur to three and now in the channel booleans if we look at the channels we now have a new set of normals so for example here we have that here we have those all right so now we want to add another shader node and pipe that in and have a look at that go back to the color all right so here we want to remove the ambient and then diffuse completely and Let's move also the reflection and that for example I want to merge this one on top of what I have already and in the merge I'm going to set the alpha gain to zero so that I have uh, an, uh, an add operation in the shader node we want to change the equator angle to minus 85 and the polar height to minus 52 and let's view from here which is better and we're gonna we want to move uh, here and just increase this one a touch and also in the specular we want to increase that a little bit and maybe just to play it with that a little bit more just add a brightness contrast I want to clip the black and the whites and I want to play with this highlight here and I want something like that let's have a look yeah that's looking nice all right so i'm going to create a copy of this shader and merge that over add operation all right so in this one we want to change the equator angle to minus 88 and just change this one to 52 degrees so that we have a nice backlit effect we want to move into the shader tab and we want to change the color it's like 53 and maybe we want this to be a little bit more we want to also copy this one paste that in i want to maybe pl to play with that a little bit more and then i want to go into the merge and change the blend maybe i want to do that again with the other one so to have that a little bit more subtle yeah something like that so now i'm going to add a background node and i'm going to use that with a brightness contrast i just want to you know darken those strips a little bit and i want to use a 
um, gradient and if I look at the gradient I can pipe that into the mask input and in the setting I can say I want to use luminance and let's change the gain a little bit and the gamma also and then I can play with the or uh, let me just tweak that a little bit more let's try to move into lab interpolation yeah that, that's looking better all right something like that is looking pretty good now what we need is a background and for that let me grab this video here which is uh, some smoke I downloaded from the internet I think it's free somewhere uh, I just added a color corrector you can see here what's going on see it's very simple uh, hue adjustment and a little bit of camera correction all right let's um, create also a background node which I'm going to set again to gradient and for this uh, color here I'm going to set this to 0 0.18 and this one is going to be darker yeah something like that let's view this and instead of linear choose radial and let's do something like that I'd say uh, let's bring it to 0.5 and point, point 0.5 so it's centered all right and I want to merge this uh, video I have on top of my background and I'm going to choose screen and I want to blend that in like something something like that yeah that's looking good so now let's uh, merge the bleed on top of the background I think it's a little bit too bright let's add a brightness contrast here and let's do that a little bit more something like that that's looking good all right let's view what we have for for now it's a really nice effect all right so let's go on for with the finishing touches let's add a blur note And I'm going to set that up to 0.5 and after that I'm going to use a sharp node and I'm going to set that up to 0.8 maybe or less let's see when it looks good yeah around here I think it's looking pretty good it looks awesome right now we can add a touch of soft glow and let's have a look at what we have there around there looks good something like that I think it's looking good all right so we want to add a touch of chromatic aberration and for that I'm going to use the fast chroma macro that I created you can use whatever you prefer for this I'm using this because uh, you know I made it it's fast so that's that's about it yeah just a touch of um, chromatic aberration maybe this is a even too much let's make that a little bit less yeah I think that's looking good and just uh, for the last step is going to be some film some film grain and I don't want that to be monochrome so it's going to be RGB noise and maybe the size I want the size to be a little bit smaller and the strength something like that I think it's looking cool and maybe we can just add a touch of color correction before 
this last step just to have you know touch more contrast yeah something like that all right let's have a look at that All right, as you can see, we have a pretty nice looking result. Uh, of course, you can change the input text and everything will be, you know, uh, adapting. So for example, I can type in uh, something like that. And yeah, you know, that's going to adapt. Yeah, I think I will upload this uh, on Gumroad with a very small price and, you know, it would be nice if you guys wanted to support me. But anyway, uh, I think this is a wrap for me. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye.